Apple now sells five different iPads. Recommending an iPad used to be simpler. White or black? How much storage do you want? Those were the days. Tablets were a confusing space and the iPad brought clarity. Now, Apple sells five different iPads with two different connectors and two different Apple pencils. Which means clarity looks a little different. Of course, Apple still offers clear documentation to explain its every change, like which Apple Pencil works with which iPad model. While the move does mean that every iPad is now compatible with an Apple Pencil of one sort or another, its brand new iPad Air and iPad Mini weirdly only work with the first generation Apple Pencil, not the newer version that elegantly attaches to the tablet S side. If you VE never charged the old model, here's what you have to look forward to. Today's announcement of the refreshed iPad Mini and iPad Air shows Apple in rare form, bringing old ideas back to the forefront instead of courageously killing them like it did with a headphone jack, optical drive, or 30-pin iPod connector. It's nice to see that it's willing to refresh older tablets with some modern hardware specs and features, but it highlights how messy and confusing the business of buying an iPad, and accessories for it, has become. This infamous tweet comes to mind. Meanwhile, let us consider the iPad Air. The Air was once the most premium model that Apple offered, and now its revival is being slotted somewhere in the middle of the pack, above the new iPad Mini, but below the iPad Pro. As Dieter posits below, what does Air even mean anymore? It is no longer the most powerful option, nor does it have the most dazzling design. It does have a headphone jack, though. Apple brings back the iPad Air with new 10.5-inch display and Apple Pencil support. Apple is bringing back the iPad Air today with a bigger model. Alongside a new iPad Mini, Apple is launching a 10.5-inch version of the iPad Air with support for the original Apple Pencil, not the modern second-generation Apple Pencil. This new model will be powered by Apple SA12 Bionic chip, and it will slot into the iPad lineup between the larger iPad and iPad Pro models. Apple is making the iPad Air available starting at $499 for the Wi-Fi model and $629 for the Wi-Fi and cellular version. Apple originally replaced its iPad Air 2 with a device simply called the iPad nearly two years ago, but the company has bumped the screen size from 9.7 inches to 10.5 inches for this new model. The move to support the older generation of Apple Pencil, $99, seems particularly odd, but it does mean every iPad that Apple now sells includes stylus support. Apple's updated iPad Air will also support the company's smart keyboard, which is available separately for $159. Apple hasn't picked its latest A12X processor for the iPad Air that it uses in the iPad Pro, but it will instead use the A12. Apple is positioning this as bringing more of our most powerful technologies to more people than ever by offering a bigger iPad that's not quite at the pro level but still more powerful than the smaller 9.7 inch iPad. This iPad Air also has a similar design and display bezels to the smaller iPad, rather than the narrow bezels found on Apple's latest iPad Pro. Apple is also using its lightning connector and touch ID system for the iPad Air instead of the USB-C port or face ID like the iPad Pro models have. Apple's new 10.5-inch iPad Air will be available to order online today from $499, and it will be in stores next week.